Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello and welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is families and communities. And before we get into our lesson, it is very important for us to sanitize. Remember, we sanitize so that we can be responsible boys and girls and make sure that we're staying safe from coronavirus. Make sure that before you touch anything else, your hands are dry. Now we are ready. For today's lesson, we will be talking about the sound, spell, reading and our comprehension. Our first exercise can be found on page 17. On page 17, we have some words and those words all start with our sound spool. Everybody, let's say spool. Spool. Very good. Now we are going to try and read each word from the splashes that we can see. We have the word splat, splat, splat. Can you see the word splat? Very good. We also have the word splinter, splinter, splinter. And then we have the word splash. Splash, splash. At the bottom, we have the word split. Split, split. Then we have the word splendid. Splendid, splendid. Then. We have a word, splosh, splosh, splosh. Then the last word that we have is spleen, spleen, spleen. Now, I'm going to try and explain what each word means. Splat is a sound that something makes that is liquid when it has been put on the floor. Splat. Then a splinter is a small tiny piece of wood that may have gotten on your finger and that you need a pair of tweezers to take it out. And then the word splash is the sound that is made when anything is entering a body of water, like someone diving into a pool. Splash! And then we have the word splendid. 
which can be the same as the word excellent. We also have the word split, which is to make one thing get broken down into two parts. We are splitting a piece of wood. And then we have splosh. Now splosh is similar to the word splat. And then lastly, we have the word spleen. Now the spleen is a part that is in the body. Now that I've told you the meaning of these words, it is time to make some sentences. You are going to choose three words from the sketch above and make your own sentences. Remember grade threes, it's important for us to start with a capital letter when we're making a sentence and ending with any of these. If it ends with a question mark, then it becomes a question. If it does not have, then we will end it with a full stop. But if it is something that is showing emphasis, then we can use an exclamation mark. Please take your time and make sure that you read your sentences before you go on to the next one. Let us now turn to page 18 for our next exercise. On page 18, you can see that we have a story to read. Oh, I love comprehensions. And this story is talking about a certain person. Remember, a comprehension needs to be read three times. So I am going to read it first for you. Please follow with your finger or with your pencil. Are you ready? Let's go. I began going to school three years ago. It's a great place. There is a big schoolyard and I can play with my classmates at the break. There are some swings too. My teacher's name is Mrs. Ropa and she is very nice and never gets angry. She speaks slowly and has lots of patience. She helps me when I don't understand something. This month, I am learning to write the alphabet and draw numbers in my notebook. I carry a green school bag and I am sitting on the second table next to the window. Mrs. Ropa is a tall woman and she wears glasses. She reads us short stories and we can ask her any questions about the stories. In the afternoon, we often sing children's songs and we play the flute. I love all kinds of music. My parents watch TikToks and listen to iTunes. I go to school by car. My father takes me there in the morning and my mother picks me up in the afternoon. School finishes at one o'clock. Wow, that was a very exciting story. And I'm sure this person really loves going to school. At the bottom of our comprehension, we have some questions. So let us read the questions together. Are you ready, grade threes? Very good. What is the name of the teacher. What is the name of the teacher? Let's read the second one. 
Where do they play at break time? Where do they play at break time? Let us read the third one. How do you know that Mrs. Roper is a nice person? How do you know that Mrs. Roper is a nice person? Number four. When do we sing children's songs? When do we sing children's songs? And number five, the last one. Who watches TikToks? Who watches TikToks? Now, boys and girls, for us to understand, we need to read the comprehension again. When we read the first time, we are reading to understand the story. The second time is to try and find our answers. And then the third time that you are going to read is to make sure that your answers are correct. So let us go back to the comprehension passage. On the comprehension passage, let us read together. Starting from I. I began going to school three years ago. It's a great place. There is a big schoolyard and I can play with my classmates at break. There are some swings too. My teacher's name is Mrs. Ropa. And she is very nice and never gets angry. She speaks slowly and has lots of patience. She helps me when I don't understand something. This month, I am re learning to write the alphabet and draw numbers in my notebook. I carry a green school bag and I am sitting on the second table next to the window. Mrs. Ropa is a tall woman and she wears glasses. She reads us short stories and we can ask her any questions about the stories. In the afternoon, we often sing children's songs and we play the flute. I love all kinds of music. My parents watch TikToks and listen to iTunes. I go to school by car. My dad takes me there in the morning and my mom picks me up in the afternoon. School finishes at 1 o'clock. Now remember grade threes. Please take your time when you are trying to find the answers for each of these questions. And when you are done, you are going to read this one by yourselves. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon after this commercial break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Welcome back. And now we need to end our lesson. I hope that you managed to firstly make your sentences clear and correctly 
And I hope you managed to answer all the questions for the comprehension. Remember, boys and girls, if you are not able to do it by yourselves, there is no harm in asking for help. And this is the end of our lesson. Remember, at the end of every lesson, we need to sanitize. We sanitize to make sure that we are safe from any germs and we are being responsible so that we do not get COVID-19. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. But I wonder now, I haven't seen our friend today. Have you? Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, it is time to say goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.